This video is sponsored by Brilliant, and I'm going to tell you a little bit more about that later. But what I want to show you first is a book, a book that I got recently. It's called Python Distilled. Now, it's by David Beasley, who has been programming in Python, I think, for over 25 years, and he really knows his stuff. Now, there are no shortage of Python books on the market. And as a beginner, or even as a, an intermediate uh, user of Python, it might be confusing if you're looking for a book as to which book to get and, and what would suit you. And that's why I want to just uh, take you through this book and tell you why I like it so much. So I would say this book is, it's definitely for beginners, although it's not full of projects, uh, but it would also be very useful to intermediate Python programmers uh, that want to understand the language a little bit better. It's called Python Distilled, which is an excellent title because it really is sort of the essence of Python. It takes all of the, it, it sort of looks at the breadth of the language and distills it down into what's really important and then goes quite deep into those topics. So let me just show you what's covered in this book. So if we have a look at the contents, uh, you can see what we have. So we have Python basics, uh, operators, expressions, and data manipulation, uh, program structure and control flow, objects, types, and protocols, functions, uh, and then uh, chapter six is generators. Uh, which is an important topic uh, for intermediate Python programmers. And then there's a really good section on classes and object-oriented programming. And if that's something that you haven't yet mastered in Python, it might be worth buying this book just for that section alone. And we'll take a closer look at that in a minute. Uh, and then it covers modules and packages, input and output, uh, and then there are it covers some of the um, standard library modules. Um, I've learned a lot from this book and I've been using Python for some years uh, and there were things in this book that increased my understanding of the language. Aren't I always saying that the way to learn something is to do it? And that's why I want to introduce you to today's sponsor, Brilliant. Now, Brilliant is an interactive online STEM learning platform where you can learn, you know, all the stuff that you're interested in. So computer science and data science, that's programming and algorithms and data structures and statistics and probability but you learn it interactively. And I think that's what makes Brilliant unique. I've been using Brilliant for years, long before they reached out to me to sponsor the channel. So thank you for getting in touch, Brilliant. What I really like about Brilliant is the interactive problem solving because it really ensures that you understand the subject because you've been asked questions about it and you've had to apply that knowledge to different scenarios. Brilliant has a huge catalog of courses and it's constantly expanding. So there's bound to be something there for you. It's particularly strong in data science and computer science. So go and take a look at those. To get started, go to brilliant.org forward slash Python programmer, or just click on the link in the description. And the first 200 people to sign up will also get 20% off Brilliant's annual premium subscription. So let's have a look then at chapter seven, which is the chapter on uh, classes and uh, object-oriented programming in Python. So we'll have a, a close-up look, but that is the page there, and that's what we're gonna have a look at. So we start off with a nice basic introduction to what objects are in Python and what the class statement is uh, and how to create your own object. So, you know, this is all fairly basic stuff. We learn about instances and then attribute access. And then we move on to scoping rules, operator overloading and pro protocols. Operator overloading is an important Python concept and it's covered here. Class variables and methods. Now this is where it can get confusing, I think. Uh, when using classes in Python, when writing your own classes. And I think this book explains these concepts very well. And a lot of beginner books don't cover this. Uh, static methods. Static methods aren't always covered, certainly in introductory books on Python, and they can be a little bit confusing. Uh, and they're very well explained here. Uh, and then we have a look at data encapsulation and private attributes. And again, these are all things that you kind of pick up as you use Python, but it can take quite a long time to get there and, and even know about them and know why they're used 
and they're all very nicely introduced and explained in this book. And then it moves on to properties. Now, again, I think properties can be quite confusing. Uh, and then we have a look here, class decorators. Uh, again, this is something that can be quite confusing. Decorators just generally can be quite confusing when they're used with functions. They're actually explained very well in this book. What you see there in that section on classes is really how the book is structured all the way through. Um, it gives succinct, concise explanations about the important aspects of the language and shows you how to implement them in, in simple little snippets of code. And I would say that anyone who doesn't consider themselves an expert on Python would have a lot to learn from this book. If you're a beginner, you're probably going to want more projects. This book doesn't have any projects or exercises. So it might be worth having this book alongside some online learning materials where you're working through some projects or in conjunction with something like Python Crash Course. But I think if you were to get this as a beginner and work your way through it and also use it for a reference when you are learning from other materials that don't go into as much depth as you want, this would be a very, very useful book and it would be one that you would reach for long after you'd finished working through the introductory books. So I paid £27, which I think is good value for the expertise contained in this book and the clarity of the explanations and also the breadth of the, of the topics within Python that are covered. So I definitely recommend it.